What is up guys, the Cruise 51 here today. We are back with the final part of the F1 2016 career mode season 2. It's been a long career mode, it's been a wild and mad journey, but we're finally com coming to an end of the season now. And we're here in Abu Dhabi, obviously, Yas Marina Circuit has been probably the, well, the season finale, uh, well, the season finale for quite a while, from, since 2010, also 2013, I believe, 14, 15, 16, but, yeah, but while we're on about that, let's get on to today's race, as you all know, we are doing, as I said in the last video, 100% guys, so get ready for probably over the next 35 or half an hour this video will end, so it's going to be probably one of the longest career, well probably will be the longest career mode video I've ever done, and um, yeah there's Kimi Raikkonen, he is 8th on the grid for today's race, there is Roman Grosjean, he is our pole sitter, um, he's had pole for the last couple of races I believe, so he's been doing quite well to get the impasse shown up. He's had pulled quite a few times actually the last couple of races, about three in a row I believe. I'm not sure. But yeah, as the night sky approaches us very soon, we're just about to get ready for the Grand Prix. I'll be going through the grid order in just a few seconds. We're on the team radio there. Um, just wondering what's going to happen for the race and what we're going to go through for the strategy. So let's go over the official grid order for the final time for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So it's Roman Grosjean on first, then followed by Sergio Perez in second. Then comes Lewis Hamilton in third, then Nico Hulkenberg in fourth. Then it's Max Verstappen in fifth, Gutierrez sixth, Daniel Ricciardo. Ricardo 7th, Raikkonen 8th, then it's us in 9th, Sebastian Vettel 10th, then Williams of Massa 11th, then Seitz in 12th, then another Taurus of Daniel Kvyat 13th, Harry Anto 14th, Button 15th, Pascal Whelan 16th, Fernando Alonso 17th, Valtteri Bottas 18th, Magnussen, Ericsson and Nasa and also Julian Palmer who rounds off the grid for the final time. So after all that, let's head now to the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So, as you can see guys, we are starting on the soft, or well, the super soft compound tyres. We decide to do a different strategy in qualifying. So basically, well basically, basically what we have done is um, we just made it through in 10th to get um, a new set of super softs. And this could be, this could be really interesting to see what could happen. So um, yeah, all the cars in front ultra softs and our pace is quite good. But then we decide, we just qualify 9th in the end, what was really close between us. So we're already waiting for the lights to appear on the track now as we're just waiting for the cars to line up here as we can see we go to five red lights for the final time this season and as lights out and away we go we've been held for a very long time there we've got a really good fantastic start look at this we've down the inside of four cars it's the first corner they're really late on the brakes now we've got to watch Daniel Ricciardo Verstappen should I say the side as we almost run into the back of Gutierrez go wheel to wheel with him at the next corner but we've managed to go in down the inside we've already made four positions up by the first couple of corners we're behind our teammate Lewis Hamilton already who's decided to go the super soft tyres so both Mercedes me and Hamilton are doing different strategy we make a little mistake there and go a little bit wide out the corner. As we're coming through into the next corner now, we're hoping to get a good X out of here and get Hamilton. But I think he is too quick at the moment in the slipstream. Uh, to, um, very more cars. But I think we'll have to leave a couple of laps to see what's going to happen. And I was right, guys, because this is us right behind Nico Hulkenberg into the next lap or two. Um, Hamilton's got past Hulkenberg. Now, this is our opportunity to get past the Force India driver. Can we get it round the outside? we got a good exit. We've got a real good slipstream of Hamilton. Force India, look at that. Hulkenberg dives down the inside of Hamilton. He's going wheel to wheel with him now. Who can can he get it? We off the lock. I would just miss. He pushes us off the circuit but luckily it was an illegal overtake because we just managed to get back on because we were ahead but now later on this is a couple of laps later this is for the lead of the Grand Prix as Sergio Perez and Roman Grosjean scrapping away look at the two go they're round the outside into the next corner Perez holding it who's going to win this scrap but there's us now Hamilton's looking to join in the action as well hopefully me as well to join in the action because we're up to fourth from the start by lap four we've went from ninth to fourth already under five laps but now 
now these two are still going side by side, which is unbelievable to see. Will Perez get the good exit? Yes, he does. Perez is going to hopefully just hold on to it. Yes, he does. Perez in P1 now. Retakes Grand Prix. Now, almost going to the back of Lewis Hamilton, our teammate there. But now, it's a scrap for the first place now. It's the top four. How close is Ricardo behind? No, he's not that close. So, it's a four-way battle for the lead in the Abu Dhabi, the season finale. And this will be really good here. Hopefully, we can get a good season finale. Not like a bowl Born race or sand. It's not much, it's not much races have been born in Korean well if you got to admit guys. But we're gonna try and move on Hamilton, but just got to watch we try to think our caps on. Well I was gonna say thinking caps on because we're gonna try and line them up into the next corner. We're gonna keep this corner smooth but a little bit wide there, so I may affect our line. But um Hamilton is looking a bit feisty there on the um, Guti Erez and our tires are twenty one percent worn but now we have got um DRS available uh, down the pitch straight there goes Gutierrez for the Grand Prix lead. We are gonna go down the inside there is a double overtake. We're overtaking Hamilton while Gutierrez is overtaking Perez. It's late we went off the circuit, we come back on the track, Perez and Hamilton gets a well Hamilton gets a huge ba bad exit. There's three cars going wide, oh my god, no there's no way as we come to end of the corner, we're going to go out the outside, oh there's contact, Hamilton's round, he's crashed and Daniel Ricciardo's bounced over the curves but we've lost most of our front wing, oh my god, what a moment there in the Grand Prix, and is there going to be a safety car, yes there is, but we have lost most of our front wing, I'm going to have to come in to the pits now and set on, well put on a new set of maybe the soft compound tyres, which is, oh that, I can't believe it, I think most people will be pitting about this time now, anyway, I I don't know, but I think the tyres will be like, no, I think they'll be much longer yet before the pit, but um, luckily as we're losing a piece of our front wing, that's not going to help there, but luckily the safety car is out to save the day here, yeah, but we're going to just go for the move now, we're going to take off, accelerate into the final corner, into the pits we come, they will be followed by so many cars, hopefully not, but it doesn't matter because we're going to get a lot on pit stop anyways, we come into the pit lane, to get a new front wing and a new set of tyres and I'm getting followed by a couple more cars and it's the soft compound tyres run the Ferrari's getting ready too look at that we've got a whole train of cars coming in obviously try a different strategy now obviously maybe they've lost pieces of the front wing but will we get held up here and a little bit but Hamilton's going to get held up the most but what a crash for Hamilton as well he went flying off the circuit he just got caught in Ricardo and then Ricardo bounced over the curbs and we just got hit in to the side of Gutierrez, oh it was Grosjean I believe, as we come out the pits there, sliding the back end out, as we come out as in a um, P10, so that's okay, but the other thing is, problem was, the next lap, everybody was pitting, but look, what does Gutierrez doing, and look what he does, it worked, it worked, the thing worked, he actually backed us off, backed us up into the Force India, and it worked, it Force India squeezing between us, which is very annoying as we almost go into the back, off then the force into there but now a lap eight the Grand Prix FIA declared it's safety car coming into the end of this lap now so here we go then we're going to get racing once again in Abu Dhabi we're behind Sergio Perez which is annoying because Perez was actually in the lead and we would have jumped him which is very annoying but then Gutierrez decided to pit but then We've just went and lost a little bit of piece of front wing tap in the back of Perez, but doesn't matter, it shouldn't affect us too much, but here we go guys, we are racing once again in Abu Dhabi, so we cross the line in P13 to start the Grand Prix, down into turn one we go, we're going to keep it smooth, and there's a whole chain of cars with a lot of points to be on offer once again, as we come through into the next corner now, we've got Roman Grosjean in the house behind us, is that front wing actually affecting us a little bit there, into the next corner, I believe it is, but the thing is, we're trying a different strategy, we're going to take these tyres almost to the end of the Grand Prix, then fit on the Ultra Softs, depends on how good they last, but now, uh, Perez is on the ultra sauce and now we down the inside we go, we almost hit the back of Gutierrez but he'll get really good traction but maybe not there so I'll, I'll be surprised if our pace is actually really good here on the sauce because they're on the double the best tyre there as we have to go defensive to Perez, Perez is going for the move here comes Grosjean, Grosjean's going to give us a wee tap there we go three wide, almost in the next corner Perez is going to take the position back but we're going to get really good traction but Perez has unfortunately got us back but there's so many cars built in there oh my god, there's no way we've just done that and there's contact there's contact between Gutierrez there's debris going everywhere there's cars everywhere madness here in Abu Dhabi but oh my god oh, for some reason we've just went from P13 to P8 how did we do guys unbelievable oh my god 
The amount of overtaking, we just overtook about six cars and bloody one straight. Oh, that is amazing. That has saved our day. Luckily, Magnussen's behind us now, which is one of the slower cars. He's on the super soft tyres, still the quicker tyres. But um, obviously, our Mercedes is much quicker than that Renault, so we expect to be quicker than them anyway. Talk about being quicker, we are actually catching the, 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 um, this pack here of Marcus Ericsson as we run hugely wide off the track there, luckily not to get a penalty, but there's a man coming into the pits and all starting to come in a little bit now, so this is our chance to shine and shoot off, and then, oh look at this, is that Roman Grosjean, that is not what we, that's not what we want guys, Roman Grosjean, is he down the inside, has he made the move stick? Unfortunately, yes he has, which means we're going to have to scrap away with Roman Grosjean I believe, because that's the last thing we want, because Grosjean is as fast as anything out here now, he's on the ultra soft tyres, which doesn't help, so we need to make our way through the field very, very quickly before Grosjean starts to close on us. We have got Marcus Ericsson then, next up is Fernando Alonso, we've kept up with these cars on this plum, the slowest tyre out in Bob the longest lasting tyre, but will Grosjean actually mount an attack on us here? I think he's doing his first attack, yes he does, here is Roman Grosjean launching his tyre, but has he got the power? To get us, I don't think so. No, he doesn't. We've got that extra bit slipstream with power. Alonso holds off Ericsson there, but we're right up the rear of Marcus Ericsson, and hopefully we get a fantastic exit. Look at the grip we have for some reason compared to the Sauber, the chassis not as much good as us. Uh, but now we're onto the street. Well, Ericsson launch an attack on Alonso. Will this be crucial? Yes, he does. He makes the move, but we're down the inside. Three wide. We bounce over the curves. We push the two cars wide. Can we get the move stick? Yes, we can. We've made up the move stick and got ahead of Fernando Alonso. And yes, we are. We're ahead of him now. But now, later on, into the Grand Prix, look at this. Grosjean actually trying to attack us now. So Grosjean got past the cars eventually and is now starting to attack us. So we've been flying over the curves there, guys, which is insane. You see, I just went up in two wheels and we managed to get um, past them. We pushed the two cars out the way a little bit and just managed to get the move stick. Now, Next up, we're catching the pack for actually the lead of the Grand Prix again. So this could be lucky. Gutierrez petted and put on the set of the ultra soft tyres and setting fastest laps. But this is not going to help if you want to catch the next cars ahead. Because here comes Grosjean. We're not going to give this up because we know Grosjean's a rivalry. So whatever what, we're going to scrap away with him. No what, no matter what. So what we're going to do is back off here. Go wide. Get a very good exit into the next car. We've made that absolutely perfect. Look at that exit. We've just um, nailed that to perfection. And this could be a good run for us here up to Rich Mix into DRS zone. Down to the outside we go. Can we make the move stick before he comes to squeeze him out a bit? Yes, we can. We've made the move stick. We are back up to P4. But we're right a bit wide there. Grosjean is going to try and get us back, but it's not. But now, later on, Grosjean has got us there into the next lap. Grosjean has now overtook us and is pulled away. But now, there's Grosjean overtaking Carlos Sainz on the exact same lap that he just overtook us there. The now that we need to get past Carlos Sainz. But then, later on, there's Roman Grosjean into the pits for a set of the super soft tyres, so we're back ahead of them now, we're, not, we're going to stay out obviously for a very very long time and um, you might end up catching us again, so about overtaking Carlos Sainz earlier, there's Carlos Sainz now into the pit so we don't need to do that and there is us just going to jump out there, then we can fly for the first corner in the second one but now, about five odd six laps later, but later uh, longer into the Grand Prix, Grosjean has caught us up and now he's launching his attack, so he's caught us up by about 20 seconds Oh no, it's a bit bloody Kenny, pulled away by a quite, quite a good margin. So we're on to lap 21 of the Grand Prix, and we've got how many laps left? Jesus Christ, and um, it's going to be a very, very, very long Grand Prix, as I said before. Usually the Grand Korean Mode videos will be finished in the next five minutes or so, the next game couple of minutes. But now we've had a horrible exit, and Grosjean is now on his attack once again. But once again guys, you would think you would save fuel and just watch your tyres, not this time, we're watching for Grosjean, we know Grosjean is over to us for the, because this is crucially for the lead of the Grand Prix, that we're going to scrap away with the harsh driver, we almost go off the track, Grosjean goes wide, can we squeeze him, Grosjean off the circuit there, but he's going to have, we're going to have DRS now available into the next straight, we've got DRS now, will he go defensive into the end of the straight here, is now, where will Grosjean go, we go to the outside, into the next corner, we're going to have to make this move stick if we want to, but we've made a huge Huge mistake and went off the track and have to maybe let Grosjean pass, but no, we didn't even get a league overtake, which I'm surprised at. I think we must have got ahead of him before the breaking zone, so it didn't count as a league overtake, which is very fair. Um, but yeah, fair enough, but it's now we have to scrap away from hopefully just like back him off a wee bit or just like, no, you know, just something could happen to Grosjean, just hopefully something would happen. 
as there we come out the corner and then into the next corner finally into the final corner now and Grosjean still right behind us we've made a costly mistake there will Grosjean make the move into turn one he's got a very very good slipstream now Will Grosjean's at the outside Carlos Sainz has caught us up there we're going to squeeze him into turn one we made contact and Carlos Sainz has managed to get through oh well, man Grosjean there he's on the ultra soft tyres holy crap we're going to be under threat by so much now this is going to be hard and we're at 37% wear on our tyres holy crap that is a really good tyre wear for the soft tyres we could take these tyres well into the Grand Prix if we, if we have good, good pace and don't get overtaken obviously so we have to defend off these cars but now look at this uh, traction Sainz has it's too easy the ultra soft tyres for him but now we have got look at the power we've got though but look at Grosjean's power holy crap he's on the mission here comes Grosjean he's off the circuit a little bit three wide in this corner we all lock up who is this not going to work Sainz gives us a little tap what's going to happen now we've got oh, Grosjean bouncing over the curves there madness and then later on the, uh, starting the next lap here comes Graham Roman Grosjean once again but Carlos Sainz defends it oh there's contact can he keep it the barriers yes he can brilliant traction there and no brilliant control from um, Carlos Sainz but now this is later on the exact same lap there than now Grosjean no, it wasn't. It's later on. It's like, ah, so yeah. As I just noticed, he's actually we went wide, and he's got the door. He had the door open, and now we're going to try down the inside. We've still got that good Mercedes power. We're not going to give up into the next corner. We're going to lock up the brakes hugely off the circuit. We go. Going to watch the then um, corner in there, not to go over the big bounce a bit of the cams because you can go absolute flying if you do touch that, guys. But now here comes Grosjean. We go defensive at the last second, and he's just pushing us. What's he doing? We're going. To, we're trying to go. He couldn't. What's he doing? He's actually trying to push us off. The circuit we went defensive and he could have went to the outside but he decided not to so we have got another 21 not 31 laps oh christ now but later on here we go once again three wide holy crap this is not going to happen into the next corner we get brilliant breaking zone there we cover the corner perfectly but now Grosjean is going to get a fantastic exit and while we go for the move again look who else is joining the party Lewis Howell and our teammate Oh my god, no, just no, here come, here we go again, into the next corner we go, we go wheel to wheel with Roman Grosjean, can we hold it into the next corner, yes we can, and it's brilliant defending by us there, but not for long, oh my god, we've went off the circuit, huge amounts of contact, oh there's m more contact, Carlos Sainz off the track, and now we're going wheel to wheel, with Roman Grosjean again, his virtual safety car deployed at the last second there. Grosjean, how hell did he not get ahead of us before the virtual safety car was deployed? But so much action here in Abu Dhabi, guys. I really hope you're enjoying this. Please leave a like on this video because I can't believe there's actually. If this was a 50% race, I'd, this is this is how much action there would be. But guys, we've got body. How about we've got like another. 50% as well, but now guys, I want to show you, this is Ultimate AI, just in case you didn't believe me, there's proof that we're on Ultimate AI, um, but yeah, so, so much to talk about in the Grand Prix so far, we are in the lead at the moment, which is very good, that's what we want, um, but yeah, we, we don't know, should we pit, I really don't, we might come into the pits, but I think we're going to just stay out for the time being, then maybe later on put the super soft tyres and then if there's a safety car again we'll put on the ultra soft but now virtual safety cars end and we know we've got the slow pace at the moment this is our chance to get away and we have got a really good decent gap over Grosjean pulled away there but I think he will catch us up very quickly as we return to racing speed once again and we're away but now after a couple of laps Grosjean is on the attack again down the inside he goes into the next corner but look at that we hold it round the outside we just get fantastic traction with the soft tyres I don't know how we managed to like we've just got so much grip as now we come back live to on board with us there oh we're making contact a little bit Grosjean has then um, overtook us there but we make a move into the next corner yes we will we hold it we're going to bang tyres we're going to squeeze them off the circuit a little bit and Hamilton our teammate has that's allowed Hamilton to get through and it's a Mercedes one to in the Grand Prix now but now later on here comes Grosjean again he's got a hit past Hamilton he's bounced over the curbs as now we jump to defend off Roman Grosjean for the brilliant time in this race Hamilton is pitied my apologies guys 
But as we come into the next um, straight there, look at Hulkenberg, he's on the move on Groshon. Will they make a move on us? We have to watch, we have to break so late, we almost go off the circuit because we don't know if Hulkenberg's going to make a move. They two go to wheel to wheel, but this is our chance now to actually pull away in the Grand Prix because they're battling away. The two drivers, the Force India and the Haas driver. And who's got ahead? Grosjean is still ahead, but we have got a decent amount of gap to pull a bit. We've locked up the left, right there, no, the left, right, the front right there is now we're going to offside camera shot with us there coming through into the next corner now. As Grosjean has caught us up already, but hopefully get a good exit through this final corner so he doesn't get a really good chance. But now, I've got to say guys, we're finally making a pit stop in the race. We're coming in for a set of the super soft compound tyres. We're going to take these to the end of the Grand Prix. Now, can I do that? Yes, I can believe, hopefully, but is it a good start from Mercedes? It's a 5.5, um, uh, a 2.5, a should I say. But now we come down to the end of the pit lane. I probably, this is probably my favourite pit lane, guys. Who, who doesn't love this pit lane? Coming through into the tunnel section now, keeping it smooth, getting everything perfect. Now, where are we going to come out here? Gutierrez is ahead of us. But look at this, as we come out the pits, there's so many cars um, ahead of us. Look at this, we've just came out in the nick of it. And we come wheel to wheel of Hamilton, into the next corner we go. Oh my god, that's a double overtake from us there. What a fantastic blooming battle with all the cars there. Did you see that? We came out in the thick of Ricardo there. And also Gutierrez we managed to get ahead, I believe. But then um, we managed to get ahead of Hamilton and very like the same time. We've got the much better traction on the tyres, and look at that. We managed to get past them in the end, which was good. But we make a huge late dive on Massa. That was a massive late dive from us there. I wasn't going to go for it, but I just had to. So, yeah, but now, later on, Roman Grosjean's made his pit stop. There's us coming through the first corner, and we've actually got ahead of Roman Grosjean there, which is very good, but he's going to catch us up anyway as you're about to see it in just a few seconds time but there we go guys there's Roman Grosjean on the attack once again it was about four laps later he's got ahead uh, well he's already out of Ricardo but now we've switched back to the inside we're going to do Nigel Manso and Silverstone as we're going to keep the um, um, position there and it's second place because Kvyat is still in the ultra soft tires and he's still to pit will he get a good um, toe there right got the defensive yes we do the power in that has there must have been very good but now he's going to try hold it around the outside but it's not enough but Daniel Ricardo is was Daniel Ricardo ahead there I think he was Ricardo and Grosjean are scrapping away there so hopefully we can get away look at the gap we've got this is fantastic but now finally this is Daniel Kvyat making his pit stop I believe not Carlos Sainz making his pit stop there for the Toro Rosso crew and he's going to come out just ahead of the Force India I believe there, yes he did but now let's see what's going on in the race here, here we go guys once again it's us and Grosjean scrapping away for the Grand Prix lead now what will happen to this corner, are we going to hold back, where are we going to, look at this, what we've, look at what we're doing round the outside, look at that, how the traction we had round the outside, we matched Grosjean's speed round the corner, he was at the inside, and now um, I was at the outside, but we're at the outside again, and he's at the inside for the next corner, we go wheel to wheel now, what was going to happen into the next corner now, here comes Grosjean, here comes us, he bounces over the curves, he's made contact with us, and it's going to give us a little bit of a gap to get away now. But over the curb, three wheels he goes into the co corner. But now, Grosjean into the next lap for the billionth time has overtaken us. But now, we're going to go to the left, go back to the right, into the next corner we go. Wheel to wheel, Grosjean's locked up into the corner. We've nailed that corner to perfection. Made a mistake for Roman Grosjean to make. So, 15 laps remain, guys, at the Grand Prix. So what's going to happen with 15 laps left? Grosjean's got a good toe. Will he get make a move into the next corner? No, he's not. So luckily he made that over tape. But now, look what's happened here. There's contact into the next corner. Grosjean's round. Oh, that's a big spin for Grosjean. Oh, lap 42, that's two laps later. Will there be a safety car or a virtual safety car? Safety car deployed. But the DRS disabled. And now the safety car on lap 42 has been deployed. We will put on the ultra soft tyres now. Oh my god, guys. What happened there was Hamilton has actually caught us up. And then we, what basically, what I believe, what my um, view is saying that Hamilton gave, gave us a little tap into the corner. We locked up. Grosjean locked up. I'll, I hit Grosjean a little bit. I gave him a wee bit enough room. Hamilton gave us a tap on the rear. And I just, then it just pushed me into Grosjean and. 
crap went down and he spammed in yeah so thank god it's not trying to be thinking and think Grosjean is out of it now I don't know if he's out the Grand Prix or he's my I'm I'll be miles behind but I don't want to see any more of Roman Grosjean in this race I think we've seen enough of him um, hopefully yeah but now we come into the pits we're speeding up so much now to get very good um well you know get a wee good gap and um, but are we going to get followed into the pits by a couple of cars so we're getting overtaken now for the lead hamilton stayed out a lot of cars are overtaking us it's 2.9 seconds for us there i'm a little bit slower than i wanted but hopefully i wish we got like a two seconds dead or like 1.7 that you seen in my um, previous video which was insane guys um, the amount of support and all that and likes I've got in that video was very good but we come out the co corner where we're going to come out here we're going to come out in any traffic no we're not we're going to come out in P7 and look who else we came behind Romain Grosjean <laughs> we've came out behind Grosjean of course we have but now safety car is coming in at the end of this lap lap 45 out of 55 10 laps I mean Vettel, Hamilton Vettel and Daniel Kvyat is your top three but now we are ready to go here in Abu Dhabi for the second time racing, well the third time should I say, but now we are away racing again for probably hope in the final time, that's the last time I think you'll ever see the safety car for season 2, but we're away racing again, here we go guys, this is our chance, we are on a mission to win the Grand Prix with 9 laps remaining for the Abu Dhabi race, and we're in the night sky now, the sun is set, and now we've made a little bit of a mistake there, it's not what we wanted, and we've lost a bit of time, have to turn it a bit more, but now, into the next corner we go as my one voice about cracks there and I had to take a breath as we go down the inside of Grosjean down the inside of Raikkonen too we just miss Raikkonen inside but we go wheel to wheel with the Ferrari driver out the corner but now we've got ahead of Kimi Raikkonen Grosjean's making his move but they're going to keep fighting back and we're going to go three wide Grosjean for the billionth time in this race is fighting back and now we've got Massa down the inside we go oh no can we hold it yes we can we had that extra bit breaking on the better tyres to stay ahead of Felipe Massa. He had that brilliant slipstream and traction. But now, later on, we are making our move down the inside of Nico Hulkenberg there. So there was us. And look at that. Grosjean's went off the circuit. So Grosjean's made contact with Nico Hulkenberg there. And now we come through into the next corner. Look, guys, what has happened. It is now time for a scrap for the Grand Prix. We've had a good exit there. Look at this. We've had. We're down the inside to Daniel Kvyat. Wheel to wheel we go. The Toro Rosso driver. He's going to get good slip streamer on board from now. He goes to the inside. We give him enough room. But we've got really good break into the next corner. We just almost go off the circuit. We actually almost overtook Hamilton and Vettel there. But talking about the two of them, they scram away for the Grand Prix lead. Um, but now we've not got a lot left for the Grand Prix. We go to the outside of Hamilton. We've got to watch. There's no contact here. Can you give it safe anything to pounce? Oh my god! <coughs> oh my god! Guys! Oh! So much stuff to talk about as we go into outside of Vettel and we're now into P3 of the race. Daniel Kvyat out of nowhere, it's an RKO out of nowhere, has went from P4 and he's just overtook the three of us. That has shown up. But look at our engine guys, it's yellow. We've not been saving as much as we wanted. And now Vettel is gone. And now we're going to try round the outside of Lewis Hamilton. We just come close there, but it's not enough, unfortunately. But there's us down the inside of Hamilton. Again, into the next corner. We go there, Hamilton and us. We're going to be scrapping away here, but hopefully we try to get the slip stream. We're going left side of the track, and then we're going to go right again. And now, should I say right and left? But now, Hamilton's going to get a good exit. We have to keep a good slip stream out of them now. Into the next corner. We have got ahead of Hamilton now. Come on guys, this is our chance to win the final race of the Grand Prix. Daniel Kvyat is right ahead of us. We, oh, I really wish he never made that move. But no, Hamilton's going for the move. Oh, he's pushing us now. What's he doing? He, we're, he, we're just made defensive at the last second, but he's pushed us. But now Daniel Kvyat, 1.3 ahead of us. Hamilton tries to go for the move. But it's not, not enough. But now we're catching Daniel Kvyat like a rate of knots. But unfortunately, Hamilton is going to overtake us as we go wheel to wheel into the next corner. What's going to happen? We just missed the rear tyre of him now. Daniel Kvyat has well gone into the distance. And now Hamilton has got a good exit. Now we've got a good exit. Grosjean's got a good exit. We go down the inside of Hamilton. Two laps remain of the Grand Prix. Wheel to wheel. We go. We push him a little bit wide there. Will Grosjean get through? Oh, God almighty, Grosjean again. 
into the next corner we go now as Hamilton Grosjean was scrapping away there and now later on this is coming to the end of the Grand Prix finally here comes Hamilton again we go defensive wheel to wheel we go into the next corner what's going to happen here we go a little bit defensive to get Hamilton off the track and Hamilton's lost the position to Roman Grosjean and Grosjean is on the podium now and our tyres are starting to wear off Daniel Kvyat very very lucky that move there earlier in the Grand Prix and guys, we've actually had a new record of career mode number of minutes. We're into the half an hour stage now, guys. If this, I want to thank you guys for watching all this video, guys. Half an hour are you guys watching this video, which is insane, guys. It means a lot. Because um, um, what I don't want you to do is just click off halfway, because that would kind of ruin the career mode video. But, um, yeah, you would really want to see it all. But, guys, cheers for sticking with us all the way to the end of the Grand Prix now as we're on to the final lap. Finally, the 100% um, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, lap 55 out of 55. We have got a lot of defending to do to keep our second place. Can we finish on the podium for the final race of the season to end a fantastic season of career mode? But guys, as we come through into the next corner, we bounce over the couple of curbs there. We go into the curb a little bit, Hamilton only, Grosjean, should I say, only one tenth behind us. It's the engine power that's letting us down, or just as yellow, which we don't want. Watch the slipstream of Grosjean. We have to move to the left side of the track. So he doesn't get a slipstream, he will move over now, Grosjean. This is what we want, but look at that. See, the engine power's lacking. We almost bang. Tyler's there, luckily not to go spinning off into the barriers. Into the next corner we go. We go wheel to wheel. Grosjean goes wide, we're on board with Grosjean. Oh, he's up on two wheels. He's hit us there. Grosjean, oh, he's spun. Grosjean round. Grosjean round. There is the view from Hamilton. Is look at that. That is a thumbnail for years. Oh, he almost hits the back of um, Grosjean there, but now... Back on board live with us, here comes Hamilton once again for the final time into the next corner, can he get it? No he can't, he tried everything, but guys that was a very good scrap with Grosjean and Hamilton to the end of the Grand Prix and how Hamilton's under threat by a couple of people behind, but Grosjean up on two wheels going hitting the side of us there, then he goes hits, hits us again and then spins round and now we've locked up our left, our right front tyre should I say guys as in um, we come through into the final couple of corners Daniel Kvyat has won the Grand Prix well done to him well deserved first place for him there but we come into the final corner to finish P2 in the Grand Prix fantastic result to end the season oh guys it has been a fantastic season of career mode I would love to thank you for all the support it means so much to me guys but all the likes on the videos all the comments and other things there's your race winner Daniel Kvyat oh, it's, oh my god that's his first win the first win for Toro Rosso in the career mode I believe as well well done to them shows they could be a threat for the 2018 season or is it Ah uh, well, 2000, just just say uh, 2018 season. Max Verstappen horrible result for him P17. There, but there we go. The final time. There is the podium. Daniel Kvyat. Then it's us and Lewis Hamilton in third place. Oh, that was a round of applause to Hamilton and Grosjean as well. Um, all the battle. Grosjean did a really good comeback as well. He's been hit off twice at the exact same corner and he came back. But unfortunately got that hit at the end. But guys, most of this race has just been me versus Grosjean, if you've not noticed that already. But um, yeah, there we go. Daniel Kvyat rounds off the season with a win. Where did Grosjean finish in the end? Oh, he's lucky. He got 10th. Um, yeah, no cars were lapped whatsoever. That was, I think it's the first time that's ever happened. But yeah, we got the fastest lap. We win the championship by 138 points. Domination. And then Sebastian Vettel manages to beat Kimi Raikkonen to third place in the championship. So, a season has come to an end. All 22 drivers have scored points, which is very competitive. But um, it was 23 because obviously Nico Rosberg got kicked out of Mercedes because I got in there, so get it up, you Rosberg. But we win the Constructors by 166 points. So it's a double trophy win for us there. We have won both Drivers and Constructors Championship. Now, I wonder what will happen here. Will we get a contract then? I think we will. Oh, good. We'll just find out in just a few seconds. I think we will, actually. Is it, have we got the end of the season there? We've got the wee message from our... Obviously, whoever it was just sent us it there the now. But, um, 
Yes, I think we will get a contract event. Yes, we have. We've got a contract event here. The now is out the now. Can we just have a little look? Let's see. Um, yep, there we go. But guys, no chance. We may have a look, but nah. We are staying with Mercedes for another season, guys. We're not going to move to Haas or anything. We're going to stay with Mercedes for the next couple of seasons, and then we will move team. And you never know what good team it could be. We might go to the lowest team and try and go for the championship from there. But that'd be hard. But guys, we won the Hamilton betters in the end. But there was, as um, we got plenty of resource points to um, spend for Bahrain. I'm not going to buy anything now, obviously. We will get the engine upgraded and chassis weight, hopefully. But there you go, guys. Look at the amount of podiums we had this season. It has been fantastic stuff. But guys, I'd love to thank you once again. There's all our results for this season. All the support on Korean Mode Season 2. It's been fantastic. Korean Mode will be back in 2017. Guys, more videos to come um, throughout the late of 2016. Thank you so much for watching Korean Mode and I will see you next time.